Hello, and welcome to a special mini-series of Planescape Torment. We are going to be learning the way of Xerthamon with our good friend Dakon. What is your will? There are things I wish to know, Dakon. So before I get into this, uh, I had to wait until after Ravel, and I mentioned in episode 41 that I was going to make this a mini-series. I'm actually recording this right after that. Um, but I'm going to make this just like a short couple of episodes, anywhere from four to eight, depending on how long I make each part of the Xerthamon, uh, experience. But the last time I did this, this actually took me an entire day. Like, I'm not kidding. This was just me just playing this and talking with Dakon nonstop. So for those who are the hardcore fans of lore and learning and all that good stuff, here we are. We are going to learn the ways of Dakon and the religion of Zerthamon. Can I talk to you about your teachings? Uh, let's see. Can you teach me anything of the art, Dakon? Actually, can you teach me anything of the art? No, that the way my people is not the same as the art. Here we go. Would you teach me the way of Zerthamon, Dakon? Do you know what you have asked? The texture of Dakon's blade flows until it becomes a stone. To walk the path of Xerthamon, you must know of the people. The path, uh, the knowing of such things by one not of the people is a difficult matter. There are those not of the people who have heard the way of Xerthamon, and they, but they do not know the way. Do you know the way? I regret nothing. <laughs> Why is my phone buzzed 13 times while I'm doing this stuff? Oh, because of everyone else doing this stuff. Okay. Got my coffee. Got my reading glasses. Uh, let's do this. Dakon, I want to know the way of the people and know Zerthamon's teachings. I believe there is wisdom to be learned in such things. Updated my journal. Know that I have heard your words, and I shall test them. To learn, you must know the people. To know the people, you must know the unbroken circle of Xerthamon. Dakon holds up the stone disc in his possession, and his spider-like fingers hook into its sides. There is a click, and the plates of the circle slide into a new configuration. He reverses the motion, sealing the stone. Know the first circle of Xerthamon is open to you. Study it, and I will hear your words. I'll read the first circle, then. In the meantime, it's about the... Oh. Very well, I'll examine it, then speak with you again. So now, we go into Dakon's inventory, and we can now use the Circle of Xerthamon. Okay, the small round stone is the unbroken Circle of Xerthamon. It is made up of a series of interlocking circles that fold out from one another. The, interlo uh, the complexity of the plates and the intricacy of the links proves the text was constructed by a master artisan. Unlock the first plate as Dakon showed you. You mirror the motions that Dakon made upon the circle, and the plates give way to your touch, the rings sliding upon into a new configuration. Upon the rings are a series of symbols. The script is like no writing you have ever seen. It is a series of interlocking geometries. The circle is predominating, just looking, just looking at it, you know the symbols, and know you can read them. Read the first circle of Xerthamon. Know that we are the first people. Once all was chaos, the first people were drawn from chaos. When the first people came to know themselves, they were chaos no longer and became flesh. With their thoughts and knowing of the matter, the people shaped the first world and dwelled there with the knowing to sustain them. Yet the flesh was new to the people with it. People came not to know themselves. The flesh gave rise to new doubts, greed and hates, pains and joys, jealousies and doubts. All of these fed on each other, and the minds of the people were divided. In their division, the people were punished. The emotions of the flesh were strong. The greed and hates, the pains and joys, the jealousies and doubts, all of the, these served as a guiding stone to enemies. In becoming flesh, the first people became enslaved to those who knew flesh only as tools for their will. These beasts were known as the Illithids. 
the Illithids were a race that had come to that had come not to know themselves. They had learned how to make other races not know themselves. They were the tentacled ones. They lived in flesh and saw flesh as tools to shape their will. Their blood was as water, and they shaped minds to their thoughts. When the Illithids came upon the people, the people were a people no more. The people became slaves. The Illithids took the people from the first world and brought them to the false worlds. As the people labored upon the false, false worlds, the Illithids taught them the way of the flesh. Through them, the people came to know loss. They came to know suffering. They came to know death, both of body and mind. They came to know what it is to be a her the herd of another and have their flesh consumed. They came to know the horror of being made to feel joy in such things. The unbroken circle is the knowing of how the people lost themselves and how they came to know themselves again. So, in this case, the people are referring to Dakon's race, the Gistheri, who come from Limbo. And the Illithids, I believe they are known as mindful hitters in the D&D &D universe. And we'll get a little bit deeper into what they've done, possibly another time, possibly not. Slide, slide the plates closed, or examine the circle again. Leave it alone. And now, we talk with Dakon again. What is your will? I think I'm gonna make the, I am gonna make these just super short episodes uh, between each chapter. So I believe there's a total of eight. So eight episodes sounds like good sounds like a good number for a miniseries. What is your? There are things I wish to know, Dakon. Can I talk with you about your teachings? I have read The Unbroken Circle of Zerthamon. I wish to speak to you more about the way of Zerthamon. What did you come to know? Strength lies in knowing oneself. I learned that once someone does not know themselves, they are lost. They become a tool for others. I learned that your people were once slaves to the Illithids. It seems they committed many crimes against your people. Mm. See, I want to be careful how I answer this, because if I answer this literally, it'll show that I'm not fully paying attention to it how he wants me to see it. Or how it needs to be seen. So. Updated my journal. Oh yeah, there's going to be a lot of, le lot of little levels here. You have come to know the first circle of Zerthamon. You not only see the words of Zerthamon, you have come to know them. Dakon holds up the circle and hooks his fingers around the edges. There is a click and the plates of the circle slide into new configuration. He reverses the motion, sealing the stone. No, the second circle of Zerthamon is open to you. Study it, then I will hear your words. So here's another thing that's a uh, bonus to this, if I recall. I do not think he gets it. Does he? Do I? Ah, uh, it's not on this. Well, we'll be learning about that in the next episode of The Way of Zerthamon. Thank you very much for attending this, and I hope you guys look forward to Chapter 2.